Hey guys, what's up? So this is the Jiu Jitsu Food Tip of the Week. I'm doing this first video for my buddy, student, Brian Wynn. Yesterday I came into the gym after training and I had some really tasty food and he was talking about how it smelled, how it tasted, but the fact that he can't cook himself. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make some really tasty chicken using the crock pot and it's super, super easy. So I'm doing this video for any of you guys that train Jiu Jitsu and maybe you don't think you can cook like my buddy Brian. It's really, really important to do meal prep. If you don't you know, eat good food, then you're not gonna really get the most out of your training. So I'm gonna show you again, show you guys how to make this stuff. Now this recipe comes to me from my girlfriend. She actually introduced me to the chicken. And uh, I used to think that the only thing you could use crock pots for was like, like milk, like pot roast and stuff. Um, but she got this recipe from her friend, Erin Stymack, and you can check her website, erinstymack.com. Has a ton of really, really tasty recipes that are super healthy for you. And uh, so real quick, here's what you're gonna need. Go ahead and start putting this stuff together. So first off, you can just take the chicken. It doesn't even have to be cooked. So it's frozen chicken. You don't have to thaw it out or anything else. I've got three pounds here. So this will last me for several meals. And start by dumping that into your crock pot. And the next thing we're gonna add is the salsa. And for you guys out there, before you add the salsa, before you buy the salsa, you really need to make sure you look in the back of it and make sure you know what's in it. So what you're trying to look for is Look for something that doesn't have a ton of sugar or uh, a crazy amounts of like, weird shit added to it. So this is basically, if you look on the back of it, it's just simply tomatoes and peppers and you know cilantro and everything else. So make sure you take a look on the ingredients list before you add the, before you buy the stuff because you want to buy something that's loaded with sugar, or a bunch of weird chemicals or anything like that. But so open it up and dump it in there. Now we're going to add a third of a cup of sun butter. You can use almond butter if you'd like. Erin recommends the sunflower. She said it kind of has more of a, a peanutty taste to it. Um, and from what I've used it for, the, the sun butter tastes really, really good with it. So go ahead and add a third of a cup to it. All right, next up is gonna be the soy sauce and the lemon, or excuse me, lime juice. It says you can use lemon if you'd like. But um, you can either squeeze the lemon fresh or you can cheat, like which I'm gonna do just for time's sake, and you can use packaged lime juice. Hopefully no one on YouTube like gets angry at me. Pour that in there. Do two tablespoons of each. So the recipe calls for either ground ginger or fresh grated ginger, and uh, unfortunately I forgot to grab some of the groceries. So what I'm gonna use instead is some ginger essential oil. I'm just gonna put a couple drops in there. And I've done this before, and it seems to kind of do the trick for the taste, but again, you kind of want to add something to give the gingery taste to it. Oh, oh that's sweet. So the last bit is that you're gonna add some, some hot sauces. So in the recipe on our website, it calls for ground chili paste. Uh, or a hot sauce for additional you know, flavor. And what I'm gonna do is use a little sriracha. And again, you can kind of do this to your own liking. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit on there. Do, 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 do. Then I have some Cholula. And then this stuff, this is some Trader Joe's habanero hot sauce. I'll add that in there just for a little bit of heat. Perfect. Now that everything's in the crock pot, we're gonna go ahead and just simply put it in and set the time or the heat on low. So it's about 11:36 right now, so I'm getting ready to go to bed because I'm an old man. I can't stay up late. And the cool thing about this, and I think the easy part about it is, is simply that you know you don't actually have to do much. I mean, that took me literally, it took me long to make the video, but it took me like, literally like, like two minutes to put all this stuff in this thing. And then for the rest of it, we're just gonna let it cook. Now in the recipe, if you look on it, you can cook it on high for, I guess it's like four hours, and then you can put it on low for about like seven to eight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get ready to go to bed and let this thing cook. And in the morning it'll be done, I'll bag it up and we'll come back and take a look at that. But um, again, so put this on low, let it cook, and I'll see you guys in the morning.
Morning guys, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the chicken and see what it came out like. Um, usually, I accidentally got chicken breasts last night. Usually I use chicken tenderloins because they tear a little bit easier, so we're gonna see what this looks like. But again, it's, it's like 8.30 now, so it's been in here for well over eight hours. And let's see here, so basically you can see just just tearing apart. And we'll kind of mix this stuff up, mix the sauce up. And the thing that I really, really like about making the food in the crock pot is the fact that when you reheat it, like if you've, if you've ever baked chicken before, when you reheat it, it comes out all dry and nasty. This will come out really, really juicy and super, super tasty. So, and yeah, that's it. So that's an easy crock pot meal that you guys can make. Um, I'll put another video up next week showing you guys how to do some easy stuff for vegetables and, and things like that. So I'm done. A little trick you can do is you can take one of these little handheld blender things and when you want to sort of shred the chicken up a little bit easier, just simply put it in there. And that'll shred up all the chicken super, super easy, but you're easier than doing it by hand. So that's a little tip for you.